Anyway, we have a wonderful constitutional lawyer here, former legal advisor to both President Ronald Reagan and George H. W. Bush, Mr. David Rifkin. So good to have you, sir. Thank you for good being be here because you. there's all kinds of complex legal questions going on right now. Um, can the president pardon himself? Yes, he can. Politically, I think Rudy Giuliani got it exactly right. Politically, it is uh, unthinkable, but constitutionally, actually a very simple question for three reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, one, if you look at the constitutional text in Article 2, Section 2, uh, Clause 1, it uh, points out only two limitations on the president's pardon power. A, they have to be offenses against the United States, which means he cannot pardon offenses against state law, and it does not apply in cases of impeachment. Point number one. Point number two, if you look at the debate at the Constitutional Convention when this plan was introduced, um, not in the beginning, it was introduced by one of the founders whose name is, is Pinckney, uh, there was a bit of a debate involving a number of founders as to whether or not to exclude treason from the coverage of a pardon clause. Uh, treason, of course, being probably the most serious crime uh, you can think of and the one specifically mentioned in the Constitution. And the answer clearly was no. And, in fact, there was a discussion there. It reminds me a little bit of the discussion today. What if a president commits treason and pardons his confederates? They could not conceive of a situation where a president would have to pardon himself because I don't think they... They very much uh, believed in the notion of special counsels, independent counsels. And the answer came loud and clear. If a president does something like this, which is engaged in treason and pardons people so they don't testify against him, he would be impeached. And third, the uh, Supreme Court, in, in a few instances, took a look at the pardon power, really in the context of whether a president can attach conditions, not to full pardon, but to commutation, and came back with an answer uh, in case after case, the president can pretty much do whatever he wants condition-wise. Why? Because this is such a capacious power. I would say that the pardon power is, is pretty close to being absolute once you comply with the two limitations I mentioned. All right. So then what power does Congress have or do the American people have in the event there is a president who needs to be removed from office for impeachment. whatever reason? Okay, so impeachment, but then if you can pardon yourself, I mean, how does that work, David? No, no, no. What I said is, if you look at the language of a pardon clause, it does not apply in cases of impeachment. So impeachment is indeed the remedy. To okay. The, uh, but but Bill Clinton the... was impeached, but didn't leave office. Well, Bill Clinton was, <laughs> Bill Clinton was impeached, but the impeachment uh, requires uh, removal from office that has to come from the Senate. So he was technically impeached, but not removed from office. Mm -hmm. So an impeachment in the House... Uh, for president, if the, not, not, none of it is going to happen, but impeachment for the president who pardons himself is impeached by the House but does not get uh, uh, removed from office by the Senate is he survives. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, the, the checks and balances are untidy. They, however, uh, is what the framers put in our constitutional architecture. Uh, they require a political accountability on both sides. If a president pardons himself, he'll be accountable for it. If Congress wants to impeach him for it, they'll be accountable for that. That's how the system is made, made to work. Again, this is not a difficult question with, with all respect to the naysayers. Okay. So Rudy Giuliani is saying sort of what you said here, that he could pardon himself, but he would never do it. Um, what is your reaction to that, that he won't simply need to do it or that he just wouldn't do it because for whatever reason that's, that's not in the cards for him. Well, I, I, I think Rudy Giuliani got it exactly right. Um, a, I don't think he needs it. B, I don't think he would do it. I mean, look, I'm obviously speculating. I never met the president, but I, 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 I don't think that that is necessary. Uh, uh, I don't think that he has committed uh, any offense for which, uh, uh, for which uh, he can be indicted. Plus, there's a policy in place that uh, that by every account, uh, Special Prosecutor Mali is going to follow, which means, which says that he cannot indict a sitting president. So the worst that would happen, and that's nevertheless uh, ought to be taken seriously, mm -hmm. is that Mr. Mali would write a report to Congress chastising the president, unfairly in my opinion, if he does that, mm -hmm. for various transgressions, and it can be a basis for congressional impeachment, right. possibly. All right. So that's the worst that's going to happen, but nevertheless, uh, uh, this is... This is an important, important step. Yeah, and look, I mean, these are uncharted waters, and that we've talked about this a lot. I've never quite seen this division that we have, and so politically motivated right now um, on both sides. Anyway, David, thank you very much. It's good to have your perspective, sir. Thank you.